Okay, how did the moon form? Theories of the moon's formation. Okay, when you guys are talking to us about uh, your planet's formation or your moon's formation, you can tell us a little bit about how did it form. Twin formation, the moon was formed at the same time the earth was. Kind of, the, um, they were somehow formed when the whole solar system was formed. Okay, sounds good, but it doesn't explain all of the facts about the moon, okay? About its surface features, about its density, and everything like that. So there's a good reason why each of these theories is annulled, okay? They don't accept it. The one that they accept is going to be the one that I write over here. Fission theory, the moon broke off from a piece of the Earth because the Earth was spinning too fast. So when it was first forming, the moon fell, uh, was separated. Capture theory, the moon was formed somewhere else, but while on its way towards the Earth, it was captured. It's not true for our Earth. I see, these are, these are basically theories that are laid, put out there. It might be true about other planets' as moon's formation, but it's not true about our moon. For example, we believe Neptune's moon Triton, which is the largest moon of Neptune, it was captured, okay? It was a capture, it was a capture theory works for that one. So sometimes you have theories that work for other uh, moons, but they don't work necessarily for our moon. Our moon, best theory, giant impact theory, okay? A Mars-sized planetesimal, which is a small planet, collided with Earth in its early history. That's we believe, is the best theory. You see? A Mars-sized planetesimal. So it's pretty big. Collides with the Earth. It spews out all this material. And then that material becomes the moon. You see? This collision ejected the outer material of the Earth into outer space, which eventually coalesced. The moon is formed from the combination of the Earth's outer shell and that planetesimal. This theory explains the moon's um, density and also rock composition. Remember, we were saying that the moon's density is similar to Earth's crust. So it explains because the moon's crust came out and it together combined with that other planet to, com to form the moon. Let me show you a couple stuff and then we will end with that. This one shows you similar to that. The Mars-sized planet decimal come, spews out the material and then it forms the moon. This one is going to show us a computer simulation. And that's one of the good proofs we have. We run a computer simulation. Watch this. A Mars-sized planet is going to hit. And now we run the simulation. We want this to eventually coalesce and form a moon. Let's see if it's going to work. You see? You see how everything else dispersed? Now, if the computer simulation can show us this guy and it be turns into a moon, then our theory is good. Isn't that cool? Look at that. It became a moon. I like that so much. Okay, look how, earth, how big the Earth is. Boom! Okay, now the outer part of the Earth comes out. The heavier part of the Earth, the iron, does not come out, you see? So according to this, this, this thing should only be rocky. And it is. The moon is only rocky. The interior of the Earth is unchanged, the, rocky, the iron part. Okay? And then finally, the moon forms. And then we run the simulation. We run the simulation. There should only be one moon forming based on the simulation. If two moons form, then our theory is wrong. You see? And finally, you've got a moon forming. So that's how the moon formed. Okay? Okay, with that, we go off on our spring break, okay? Hopefully, during the spring break, you guys talk with your group members because right after we come back, Monday, here we go, Planet Reports.